again. So about two weeks ago, I did a video where I restyled all of my Series 3 Rainbow High Dolls and I had a lot of fun with it, but I didn't have Emmy at the time. So here we are finally at Emmy's personal restyling video. I actually have two Emmys. So it was hard to decide which one to restyle because they do look marginally different. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but the thing that made me choose is if you look, the hair on the first row of her roots, so along her um, hairline, is different. You see how one of them has way more purple and one of them has way more magenta? I thought that was really cool. And this one kind of has a more interesting color mixture. So I'm going to be doing the curls on this one and leaving this one as she is. Um, the reason I want to do curly hair is because I had such a good result last time with the curlers that I bought. And I wanted to try it again with Miss Emmy here. And I just love curly, bouncy, ringlet style hair. So I'm really excited to see how I can get her to turn out. And I hope you guys enjoy following me along for the ride. So now we are going to go upstairs. I have boiling water ready and we are going to curl her hair. So. I'll see you there. I'm so glad I actually attempted to film this because usually I just kind of do this off camera, but look how silky and soft her hair looks. So I didn't even wet it or wash it before doing it this time just because Emmy's hair right out of the box was so unbelievably soft and silky. So I just didn't even worry about it. But that's, as you can see, I start with the front and then I work my way back to the middle of the back. And then I do one big section at the top. Uh, I could have done two big sections of the top pop, probably, but honestly, I really like the pattern that I chose. Like, gross shit, like that bug. Right. We are going to be transferring her now. Um, she just needs to sit in the boiling water long enough for, like, her to get squishy. So she's been in there for a minute. And then... Transport her into the freezer and just be careful with the way you put her in here because you can snap the doll pretty easily when you try to get her out, so Yeah I really don't know why I didn't talk during this clip and I've sped it up to 1.5 times But this is me taking the curlers out on this first curler I'm not gonna lie. I thought that I had messed up But it's really that I took the curler out wrong and look how interestingly the hair separated itself into the two um, Root lines. I thought that was very interesting. This was the only curl that did that I'm not sure why it did it just be very mindful when you're rolling the curlers up and this shouldn't happen um, But even if it does you can just finger curl them right back into place You'll see look how perfect that curl came out and then I always just finger curl them just to make sure they really really um, all stick together And they turned out so good I was a lot more mindful than with Georgia last time with the placement of them and making sure each curler was um, straight down with the hair so that none of them would be like sticking out to the side or up or anything and it turned out so good I'm sorry for including this clip in like full like this it's just each curl is so satisfying to watch come out this is like more satisfying than watching blind bag videos to me like oh look how beautiful they look did you see leggy my little baby girl look at those curls hi so the curls are done and Oh my god, she turned out so good. I'm really, really happy with her curls. I think she looks amazing. Um, I am floored by the hair rods. They worked really well for Georgia as well, so I knew they would work really well here, but the fact that I've been two for two so far with this new method that I've been using, I'm so happy with this. I used to use these actually dry with no water on my um, G4 My Little Ponies when I was like 11, and it actually worked super well. Uh, but I've lost those since then just because it's been so long and it, 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 like I had to move out of my dad's house and I moved into my mom's house and then I've moved so many times since then they just kind of disappeared into the void I guess. Um, but I found some at TJ Maxx and I needed more curling implements anyway so I just went ahead and bought them and oh, I love these. I'm definitely going to be buying more of them now. They are so good. I don't know what it is about these specifically but they just work magic. It's amazing. Um, so if you need a refresher, what we did in the video was I didn't even do a boil wash. I just used the hair straight out of the package because Emmy just has such soft, perfect hair right out of the package. I didn't have to wash it or anything. You can, though, in case you like that extra step. Um, I really just I put her hair in the curlers. I was really careful to make sure that I grabbed sections that made sense so they would lay flat and nicely on the doll. Um, I did mess up on this one. That's why we have a bald spot here. This isn't actually a bald spot. It's just these 
are the sections between rows, but normally you would take hair from each one so that they don't look like a giant bald spot. I just didn't think of that, but I did do it on this side. I see the drastic difference that um, intentional styling has on the final look. Anyway, so I put the hair into the curlers. I did it just the way I felt like doing it. And then I boiled it. I left it soak in the boiling water for a little bit and then I stuck it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and then I pulled her out of the freezer and stuck her in front of my dehumidifier. You just need to be really careful when you remove the doll from the freezer because if you try to move the joints or if the joints move on accident, they can snap pretty easily. I've never had it happen, but um, I think the shock of the freezer is really helping the curls stay in. I'm really excited to do this with my My Little Ponies because I'm planning to do a bunch of My Little Pony restoration videos. I mean, I've been planning to do that for like five years, so we'll see if I actually do it, but I've been really excited about doing it lately, so we will see. <laughs> um, but she turned out so good. These big bouncy curls. I'm really impressed by how big I managed to get some of these curls. Like, that's a lot of hair. I usually have an issue where I can do small curls decently well, but I can never get big sections of hair like this. And I'm going to show you the most mind-blowing part of this. Um, I'm going to hold Emmy between my legs really fast. All right, between my knees here. I'm going to take a section. I'm going to take this section right here. Let me angle the camera down a little bit more. All right, are you ready for this? This is something I can never do with my curls that I do on my dolls. Okay, you can brush the curl out and then finger curl it back in place and get the same perfect curl. That's kind of the magic of nylon hair is that it holds curls super well, but I've just never had good luck with it. So I am over the moon about this. And I think she looks really, really good. I really like the way her face is being framed by the curls. Um, I'm just super excited about this. I'm sorry. I know this isn't really that big of a feat, but for me, I've always had a really big, I've always had a lot of trouble styling doll hair, so I'm just over, over the moon. Look how cute they look. And they look so much different. That's why, like, I, I really like to experiment with um, doing their hair because you can really make your doll look so much different than she did before. And also, I just, look at this. This is the most satisfying thing in the world to me. Like, I could watch this all day, every day for the rest of my life. Just, wee. So, um, I'm definitely going to be curling more of my Rainbow High Dolls hair, and I'm definitely going to take you along for the ride. The next one I want to do is Kaya Heart, but I'm probably going to do a bunch of them in one video. Even though I don't have enough curling rods to do, like, all of them at once, I'll probably just do a bunch over the course of a week and then show you guys the final result. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and let me know what you think of her. Do you prefer her? And I'm not going to be offended, by the way. Do you prefer her just with her hair like this or in the big bouncy curls? I'm not sure which one I think looks better. I think their fa her face is so beautiful, so it's hard for me to say, like, oh, I think this hairstyle complements it better, you know? Oh, but she's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, anyway, I would love to know because I kind of want help forming my opinion. I do think that the hair is better showcased here because you get to see the streaks really stand out here, and I think hey, it's- Guys, so sorry, I couldn't resist. I had to show you Miss Emmy with the other restyled Series 3 girls. I did leave her outfit alone, so her and Cheryl are the and Daria are the ones with basically the same outfit. I just- I think she turned out so good. I think she looks so beautiful. I love her curls so much. I think my favorite of my restyles are these two, just because I think they were the biggest improvements. I really, really love the way Daphne turned out. Sorry, her hair's a little bit messier than last time you saw it. She was in New York City with me, so she got a little messed up. And then Georgia just, I feel like I did not connect as much with her until this. And like, look at those curls, still so, so strong and tight and bouncy. I love her. She turned out so good. Um, and I would love to know who your favorite is and why. And let me know if you've replicated any of these styles. I would love to know if, like, you really like how they turned out or anything. I'm just curious. Um, but Emmy's definitely looking really good here. I can't wait to get doubles of all of my Series 3 girls. I actually do have another Cheryl. I just haven't unboxed her yet. Um, I bought her when I was in New Jersey, outside of New York City. And that's also where I got Emmy, so they kind of, they came from the same place. Anyways, that's it for this video for real this time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!